and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Swain. Um, those of y'all on YouTube have been asking about this deck, wanting to see it. I didn't get to it last Sunday like I was planning. Sorry about that, but we are getting to it today. So let's try some Twisted Swain. This is a very popular deck in the metagame. I've actually been seeing it less than a week ago. For the people playing Bilgewater and Noxus these days are usually going more aggressive with Misfortune and Gangplank as their champions, but I still like this deck, and so we're going to um, <laughs> give it a try. We're playing basically the stock list. I kind of changed two cards from the most stock of lists. Instead of going three Noxian Fervor, we're going to be playing one Noxian Guillotine, because there is a lot of Trundle running around large units. There's like the dragon decks with Targon and Demacia that's playing a bunch of large dragons. I think it's important to have a Noxian Guillotine in the deck because of those matchups. We got one of those. And then instead of playing three Sprayfin and one Riptide Rex, I just feel like Riptide Rex is too good to only be a one-up. So we're going two Riptide Rex and two Sprayfin. So still a very stock list, just with maybe like two card changed. Um, but that's it, that's our, that's our deck. Let's go, let's try to grind people down with Twisted Fate Swain. We're gonna go Noxus with our board and sleeves and Guardian. And here we go. You like Timo Swain more? Yeah, there's a lot of different things we can do with these regions. I wonder if we should have one Katarina. Katarina's cool. All right, large units. This is a dragon deck. Good thing we are playing. We'll get rid of both of those for now. I could see keeping Leviathan, to be honest. I'm going to do that. Oh, punished by another 8-drop immediately. Ours is the one true light. All right, so I'm glad we're playing the Noxian Guillotine. The, the reason to keep the 8-drop is that I've kind of played too many games like where I have Mulligan Leviathan and then not seen it again. And with our deck, turn eight, we really want Leviathan. It's the best thing that we can be doing. And it's really the card that's going to be pulling us ahead or, you know, that kind of thing. So I decided just to keep it in my hand till later. As you can see, we still have a whole bunch of other cards. We'll just have it in our hand for later. Oh, uh, you're well, very welcome, Code. You're very... Very welcome. Happy to be here. So no Ravenous Flock to pair with the Arachnoid Sentry. Could see it's just casting Salvage this turn. Um, yeah, we're just going to cast Salvage this turn. Those are the two cards that I really wanted. Ravenous Flock and Noxian Guillotine. They're probably the two cards I wanted the most. So... Good job, Salvage. Way to burn him. He said sarcastically. So just turn four. No Radiant Guardian available. Okay. So my Twisted Fate... You know, just being a two for one, got rid of the messenger and got rid of the single combat. Know your path when the mountain changes. Yeah, I did, Kordak. Yep. Saw that. Alright, make it rain's good there. I, I probably should just death hand also and kill this mountain scryer just during combat. I'm gonna save that two life. Yeah, I should have just done this during combat. Could have saved two life, but you know, I, I don't want them to have their allegiance cards cost one less. I do you want to get rid of this? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that during combat. That was my plan. Fallen. 
victim go. My faith protects me. So we're gonna have to use two cards to get rid of Radiant Guardian, that's just how it is. This puts, by using the Powder Keg, this puts the Radiant Guardian down to one health, where we can just block it with Dreadway Deckhand, or with Arachnoid Sentry, that would be the best. Just simply block it. Because they're already at 18, you know, like it's, the gaining five life isn't a big deal. Yeah, we need to build around Tiana tomorrow. Probably go with Shadow Isles with, um, with Tiana, being able to revive Tiana in a few different ways. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Ooh, they got rid of Hush. Okay. Born a patrician. They cannot kill Swain with single combat. They could with Concerted Strike, but the thing that's not bad for me is I would I would much rather them use a removal spell to kill Swain, and then maybe we get like and then maybe they don't have the removal spell anymore for the Leviathan. I would rather them have this two-one challenger than have Hush, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know. I feel like Hush is Hush would kill me somehow. Run while you can. Sure. The good blocking that we had there. They couldn't just fail Cascade and save Radiant Guardian. Like where we're at. They're down to two cards. It's just a 3-2 right now. Deploy. The dawn has arrived. Behold the sun's holy light. Now Leviathan will turn on Riptide Rex. Artillery barrage! Perfect. Kill him, Leona. Kill that three two. Cards are good. Hey, Bob. Yeah, today's going real well. Hope you're having a good Friday. All right, so they invoked something good. Hopefully not living legends. They you know, can give them just a ton of cards. Hopefully not that. By my hand, noxious rise. Grand General! Brilliant soul. Hello, good Terra. Let's rock. Never lost a fair game. All right, so red card will do damage to a Brilliant Soul and get rid of the spell shield, and then also stun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now we flock this thing, so they can't block there. And we attack with all these. Positions! And GG's. Good twist of a red card right there. My comfort. 
and only one way. Not yet. Save that. Well, pretty good hand. Let's get rid of the fervor and keep the rest of these. I could see getting rid of death's hand also. Yeah, maybe we do. Definitely want these two. Yeah, Rex did really well. That was a very good Riptide Rex for us. Yeah, that's true. Choo Choo keeping Leviathan paid off. Leviathan good. All right, another hand where we got two eight drops immediately, but we still have good enough defense to get there. We have a lot of powder kegs we could get. Broke if you work, burn if you don't. That's too bad. Love getting Mage Seeker Conservator. Love getting that card. So you just get a true shot barrage. That is awesome. We both still have six cards in hand, but we have two three twos in play. They have three extra mana. Could be good later. Especially when paired with like these Riptide Rexes and everything. Maybe we can get Powder Keg, a True Shot Barrage, have it do 4, 3, and 2. That would be pretty nice. Uh, they haven't really demonstrated Avalanche. I've never lost a fair game or played one. Eyes but still, open. Twisted Fate replaces itself, even if they have Avalanche, which is obviously the very worst case scenario. These are trolling! What if they attack? Nope. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. I guess Mage Seeker Conservator can give the 15 mana spell, can't it? Um, October, yes, is the new is the next update with new champions. That's gonna be October next month. We should have the next, just the next update overall that has like balance patch and everything should be next week, um, the 15th. Should be whenever the announcement is on Tuesday, next Tuesday, and then Wednesday when it's implemented. I believe. Yeah, I can give you the 15 mana spell. Yeah, make sure you over your can. It's a spell that costs six or more. So it, it's fair game. All right, so Noxion Fervor can level up Swain. That's good. Hmm. But we don't need it to.
Well, a couple of good sweepers for them. I still have more cards in hand. So we're still doing good from that respect. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Hey, Darth Drew. Shop barrage. I'll level up Swain. I got rookie emotes. Rookie emotes. But yeah, I was telling y'all, True Shop Barrage, pretty good. Or whenever they get their Cygnus Moonstalker. <laughs> My randomly generated card was really good against their randomly generated card. Oh, that's harsh. Cold as ice. Right, let's just go salvage. Find some more cards. Do some more stuff. They're down to three cards. Now four. I got eight. These old eyes still see far clear. So we're looking pretty good in that respect. Hey, no. Bleed for nothing. Ice to meet you. Alright, no more Mr. Ice Guy. We're gonna close this out. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we got this one. <laughs> I know, that's perfect timing, right, Juju? Perfect timing. We gonna go attack. All right, GG's. Do you know? Praise the Noctora. Remember this day. Ooh, we're playing against Deep. Somebody was asking about Deep earlier, and I was like, I've only played against Deep like once since the new format. Here we go. Here's a second time. <clears throat> Death's Hand is good against the 3 2. Uh, Mega Rain's good against the 4 1. But none of them are really that great. We're just going to send them all back and see what else we get. <laughs> Thanks, Guts. Well, I'm here every day. If you ever want to hang out here on a stream, I do every day is play Legends of Runeterra. Alright, we got the House Spider. This is the house spider that likes dance music. That's why I named house spider. Don't love our options. I guess we just make it rain. 
Maybe I need to be saving this other Mega Rain with Mega Rain and Noxion Guillotine uh, pairing up well against some Sea Monsters. Perhaps. It really doesn't take that long to build a good deck. It really doesn't. Uh, this deck, this game is much more friendly to new players than um, other games like Hearthstone and Magic, if you're familiar with those games. Um, you can also just play like ranked basically right away whenever you uh, start out with, because you'll be playing against other people with just the, the cards that you start your collection with. Vision to see what others Ouch, scrap shot. No. I was counting on that, Swain. Okay, so they're at 19 again. Nautilus has tough, right? It's been a while. Nautilus has tough, right? Yeah. Makes it more difficult to make a rain guillotine the Nautilus. We're going to be relying on our Leviathan. Yeah, surprise jettison pretty good. I think I just guillotined the Nautilus for right now. They can have another Nautilus and put my Leviathan back. Okay, don't do that. That's good. Alright, Swain is at... 17 out of 12. Maybe it's better to play Swain first, honestly. No, no, no. Before attacking. Because then we could go make it rain and Surprise, stun some things. Go. Stun one thing. Maybe I should just play Swain first. Maokai's not leveled up yet. Hand, 
Colossus rise. Grand General. Devour the d uh, the deep's not going to kill either of these yet. There you are. Nope. I don't know if they were planning to like vile feast also. So those cards are good. Double your Riptide Rex. Double your five. This is a shark with a really big gun. So probably good play. Okay. Not getting too much damage in, but that still probably good to play. Yeah, not good against Nautilus. We want to be hitting the other thing. It's not going. We've set it up where Shipwreck Quarter will die to Ravenous Flock now. Deal seven to a unit? No. Don't deal seven to a unit. news they're only going to have two cards this next turn. So Death's Hand kills the Devourer and stuns the Nautilus. And then we can either go Riptide Rex, or now we can have like Twisted Fate stun another thing. Make it rain, it can also stun. Oh, that's scary. It's a pretty good last card to have. Oh wait, maybe not. And there were no treasures in the trove. We are now 3 0. It was a fate. We have Swing. done what is needed. <laughs> Trundle. Well, again, good thing we have the Noxian Guillotine in our deck. That has been a clutch card to have access to. Salvage is good. I don't know if I want both of them right away. Let's just mulligan these four mana cards. We'll keep the Petty Officer so that we can get blown out by Avalanche. And then we'll mulligan the rest of our hand. Look for just other stuff. I don't really know why. Ooh. We can lose even harder to Avalanche. Let's go. No avalanche this turn. You'll fight or you'll swim. Looks like they have unspeakable horror. That'd be my guess for this card. Could be Vile Feast. Soak it in. 
Turn four Trundle. Pretty good. Okay, that's a good draw. That lets us block, block and flock. Smashing. Smashing through the snow. All right, the old block and flock combo. It's a classic. Wayne's at 4 out of 12, so basically leveled up. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Get him, Swain. I think we're just going to refill with salvage. Okay. Um, pass, I guess. Yes, guillotine's good. they got. Basically playing X, we got to play something. Dusk Rider. So we'll have Death's Hand, kill the Dusk Rider. Might as well see what they get. These are trolling. So Leviathan would be like my best thing to play, but I, I would be worried about the Trundle killing Leviathan um, with the Vulnerable from the Ice Pillar. They're at 9 though? I guess they are at 9 and then I, I have Leviathan and double Noxion Fervor. A conquest for Empire! I smell a fight! Mm. That could not have gone worse. Could not have gone worse. Yeah, I mean it's maybe. Le I mean they, their deck has a lot of Nexus healing. I don't think I'd just try. And and they have removal also that would break up these fervors. I don't think I would just just throw the Noxion fervors out there. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm gonna do Riptide Rex with a Ravenous Flock backup. No, that puts that to five five. I guess that thing goes to five eight two also. Uh, not a very good Riptide Rex.
the the Leviathan already had vulnerable, so playing from the first ice pillar to playing the second ice pillar gave the petty officer vulnerable. So doing this, okay, so the, the Trindomir turns into a 9-9. This does not save my Leviathan, but it does turn the Trindomir into a 9-9. And so now the Leviathan's doing um, 5 damage against the 9-9 to put it down to 4 health instead of it being a 9-9 afterwards. So basically, our Ravenous Flock dealt some damage there. Oh, never mind. Oh, it got plus four, plus zero. So, yeah, they, I guess they, so they have two more in hand, except these two. Many tribes under one banner. I wish I would have played Riptide Rex the previous turn and not the Leviathan now. Because they were able to kill the Leviathan. I needed that to stay alive. Make them go boom! I mean, Double Fervor doesn't kill them anymore. They're at seven. Hail Striders. These are dark omens. The War Mother will unite us all. Do not stand in my... This is gonna be fun. It's really not going to be fun. So my turn 8 was where I messed that game up. Gave my Leviathan vulnerable, got a Trindomir uh, from the War Mother's Call, killed my, um, killed my Leviathan. So that turn 8 is really where I messed that game up. Oh, we'll just mulligan our four mana cards. Neither, nothing wrong with either one of them. We don't really need to keep the four mana cards though with this deck. Block that and have make it rain finish the job. Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners. Or we can go ravenous block on that thing. Alright, going red card. Make it better for my Mega Rain. If I go gold card, we turn the Yorl Grifter into a 3 1. All or nothing. You picked the losing side! Alright, that's also fine. Hmm. 
I don't really want to pass turn, and then they just pass back to me, and I waste... It's just two mana, I guess. I guess it's not so bad. This Twisted Fate's just that one out of eight. I want to play a new Twisted Fate. Champions are three out of five. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. All right, they missed a allegiance. Does that mean definitely said Juani? Maybe. If it does, do I have a good answer to Sejuani? Probably not. Should I pick a card and put something back? And look for something for Sejuani. Put back Swain. So this turn seven, we're gonna get, you know, these three fleeting cards that we'll be playing, and then we'll have these things for turn eight, and so on. Okay, that, at least the fleeting cards dug me to get to Arachnoid's entry. That's exactly what I wanted. And we're getting closer to Twisted Fate level up. That wasn't too bad. This is a draw ability with the, you know, the play. A conquest for empire. Now they're four out of five. Twisted Fate was at 7 out of 8, so close. So close. Artillery barrage. So that's all of my salvages. I think we've I think we've seen all of them now. I am so glad they let me do this. They definitely wanted to take down Sejuani, obviously, because Sejuani was the most important thing to take down. But they if they would have just gone to attacks and put the Riptide Rex first and then the Sejuani second, if I don't block Riptide Rex, then Sejuani levels up and is a 6-7 and matches up really well here. They should have gone straight to attacks. Um... Wow, they just didn't even attack at all? What are they doing? Besides dying, nothing. They're just dying. Yeah, that was... That was their bad. But victorious for us! Alright, so a nice 4-1 record there with Twisted Swain. Still just good, you know, just a good deck. This is just a lot of good removal. The card advantage is pretty good with having Twisted Fate, Salvage, um, and Swain, Leviathan, Riptide Rex. These cards at the top end are all amazing. 
Um, definitely glad we had two Riptide Rex. It was really good for us in here. I just think it, it's a card that you got to have two of if you're playing a Twisted Fate Swain deck. Um, that's kind of about it. This looks good. Noxion Fervor honestly didn't look that good for us. I'm not sure if Culling Strike would be better. Obviously, the Noxion Fervor does a good job of leveling up your Swain, which you do want a leveled up Swain, and Noxion Fervor does a good job of that. So uh, you can you can get like a bunch of Nexus damage too with this also with your Powder Kegs and that. So it, I guess it's probably better to be Noxion Fervor. Um, but yeah, there we go. The Noxion Guillotine was really good. We got to kill a, um, a Nautilus. So that's pretty big. And, you know, face some other big decks where we needed the guillotine as well. All right, but that's it here for Twisted Swain. So those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Leave those comments. Let me know if you're looking forward to this. Um, and, you know, anything else, I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.